Hello guys, in today's video, we're going to check out the best cameras for landscape photography in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these cameras for landscape photography, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality cameras for landscape photography according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Canon EOS 5 DSR. Another landscape camera that is a viable option for landscape photography is the Canon EOS 5 DSR. It's a full-frame DSLR with a 50.6 megapixel CMOS sensor. Its low filter cancellation and high resolution sensor create an exceptional image quality. So as you point and shoot, you're guaranteed to capture breathtaking images of nature. It also has an anti-flicker feature that preserves an image color and exposure level despite the blinking light. In addition, it has a flexible crop shooting that extends the shooting effect. This feature is helpful if you want to extend the range of the telephoto lens. The flexible crop shooting is also useful when capturing the intricate details of the view. As for the live view mode, it offers exposure simulation and contrast autofocus. If you get the chance to use the Canon EOS 5 DSR, it really is empowering how your shots can turn out, even without the post-process. A reminder, however, is not to use the Canon EOS 5 DSR for winter photography. But it's okay with a bit of drizzle. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Fujifilm X-T4. Next on the list is the versatile camera, Fujifilm X-T4. It won't hurt your pocket, plus it is popular with many landscape photographers. It's a mirrorless camera with a 23.5mm x 15.6mm sensor size. Even though it has a crop sensor, it's a good option for landscape photography. Many landscape photographers love it because it has a 26.1 megapixel resolution with a wide dynamic range and ISO invariant sensor. It's also a weather sealed camera, so it's best for shooting landscapes even in cold environments. It's advisable to use the economy mode when in long photo shoots as it can capture 600 frames. As for the normal mode, you can only capture 500 shots. The number 3 position is held by Sony A7R Roman 4. Next on the list is the best mirrorless camera, the Sony A7R Roman 4. It's undeniably one of the best cameras used for landscape photography. It has a 61 megapixel full frame sensor with a back illuminated CMOS sensor. Furthermore, it has an impressive and accurate color reproduction with 15 stops of dynamic range, which is pretty spectacular for its price range. The Sony A7R Roman 4 also has an added function which has an area-specific noise reduction to preserve the details of the images. One of its excellent features is the long exposure noise reduction, making it perfect for night photography or astrophotography. Its shutter speed is pretty impeccable as well. In addition, it is weather sealed, making it a great option for winter photography. As for the battery life of the Sony A7R Roman 4, it's better to pack up your charger. An extra battery's battery life lasts between 530-670 shots. This may be enough for one day photography, but just pack up extras just in case. Next at number 4, we have Nikon 850. If you're looking for the best DSLR option, you can opt for the Nikon 850. What makes it one of the best cameras for landscape photography? It has a 45.7 megapixel sensor, has a rear illuminated full frame sensor, no low pass filter, a wide dynamic range, and has an incredible image resolution. Furthermore, the Nikon D850 is capable of 4K and 8K time-lapse sequences. It's no surprise that many landscape photographers recommend the Nikon D850. In addition, it has a dual slot, a tilting LCD touchscreen, and eight focus modes that ensure a fun and comfortable landscape photography experience. It's a great option for winter photography as well since it has 1,840 shots of battery life. Imagine hassle-free shooting without having to worry about changing your batteries. So if you plan to camp out in nature and enjoy continuous shooting, the Nikon D850 is one of the best cameras for landscape photography. The number 5 position is held by Pentax 645Z. If you're willing to invest more money in a medium format camera, then you should consider the Pentax 645Z. 
The Pentax 645Z, an excellent medium format camera for landscape photography. It may not be the latest model, but it's definitely an ideal candidate. Its lens compensation function can correct chromatic aberration, distortion, peripheral illumination, and diffraction. It has a 51.4 megapixel CMOS sensor, superb resolution, natural color reproduction, high contrast, and desirable aberration correction. It has a quick response and enhanced buffer memory for a faster operation. Pentax realized that faster image processing, autofocus, and instant review display allow for continuous shooting operations so landscape photographers can capture images comfortably and without any hassle. The number six position is dominated by Fuji GFX 50S. Next on the list is the Fujifilm GFX 50S. We tag it as the best medium format budget camera. The Nikon D5600 is a budget-friendly camera, but the Fujifilm GFX 50S is a medium format camera. What's so great about this camera? It's a mirrorless camera with a huge resolution of 51.4 megapixels and a large sensor. The Fujifilm GFX 50S can capture more light, thus it is excellent for low light settings. It also has a tilting touchscreen LCD and X-Pro image processor, making it an ideal camera for landscape photography. It has built-in Wi-Fi that allows wireless sharing of files to other devices. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Nikon D5600. Are you on a limited budget? We recommend buying a starter camera, Nikon D5600 tops our list. Even though the Nikon D5600 is a budget landscape camera, it has many nifty features. It is a DX format with a sufficient resolution of a 24.2 megapixel sensor. Also, it has a touchscreen LCD that allows taking photos from creative angles. You can use landscape scenery from dawn to dusk without encountering any problems. It has an image processor, autofocus system, the ability to capture an ISO range of up to 25,600, and an expandable ISO sensitivity up to 6,400 nighttime landscape mode. All of these features ensure that even a low-light field of view can be handled without any difficulty. If you want to remove shadows in case of low-light situations, the Nikon D5600 has a built-in flash to help illuminate the scene. This is an excellent budget-friendly option for landscape photography that packs a lot of impressive features. It may be small, but it packs a lot of features useful for landscape photography. The number 8 position is held by Pentax K1 Mark Roman II. Another LCD angle touchscreen landscape camera as the Pentax K1 Mark Roman II with its 36 megapixel sensor. It's a great choice for landscape photography. The Pentax K1 Mark Roman II lacks the AA filter but offers a shake reduction feature, which helps with image stabilization and the image quality is undoubtedly of excellent quality. It's a full frame camera but has the APS-C crop mode, making it compatible with Pentax K mount lenses. It is also a weather sealed camera. It is dustproof with five-axis sensor shift image stabilization. Many landscape photographers commend it for its pentaprism viewfinder that shows the frame with perfect accuracy. The Pentax K1 also has outstanding ISO values ranging from 100 to 819,200. The wide dynamic range is impressive, making it ideal for capturing landscape photos in low light. Do you want to hear another cool feature? It has a built-in GPS, excellent for geotagging. The geotagging feature allows you to keep track of where you took your images. You know, when you capture too many images, and in case you forgot where you actually got that. The Pentax K1 also has the Astro Tracer Exposure Mode and Electromagnetic Pass, making it perfect for astrophotography. It's the perfect camera if you plan to shoot day and night. Next at number 9, we have Nikon 7. Another mirrorless camera made it to the list, and of course, it's from Nikon. It has a 45.7 megapixel rear side illuminated sensor and has no optical low pass filter, resulting in far fetched photo quality with a wide dynamic range. It is popular with many professional photographers in every field, so it's a good investment for landscape photography, events photography, portrait photography, and many more. Its 493 point on sensor with the face detection autofocus system is a feature that puts Nikon 7 at a great advantage. Why? A camera with a high number of focus points equates to a more accurate autofocus function. This indicates that the phase detection will be faster than the contrast detection. So you won't have to choose between accuracy and swiftness when it comes to focusing. 
The downside of using the Nikon 7 is its battery life. It can only capture up to 330 shots, so you better pack up your charger and extra batteries. It best operates at less than 85% humidity and temperatures ranging from 0 to 4 degrees C. But overall, this is a pretty good investment for landscape photography. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Canon 6D Mark Roman II. Are you on a budget but prefer a full-frame camera? You should consider investing in a Canon 6D Mark Roman II. It's a great choice for landscape photography. It has a 26.2 megapixel chip with a significantly improved AF system and a highly articulated LCD screen. Although it lacks the fork video recording feature, it's not usually a deal breaker for most professional photographers. It only has one card slot, and the viewfinder does not offer 100% coverage, but overall it still does a pretty good job with landscape photography. It boasts a good weather sealing feature and is excellent with low light photography. It's one of the excellent options for landscape photography in the market today, especially for those who are looking into investing their first full frame DSLR. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.